Hello, I'm Amy Zaley with the Jerusalem Connection Red Alert Report for Wednesday, April 28th. What's your perspective on history? Sometimes it seems like decades and centuries pass by and they are but footnotes or textbook chapters that we should know about and that we can get on to our daily lives. But let us really look at history in some sort of context. For example, Prince Philip recently passed away at age 99. He was married to Queen Elizabeth for 74 years. Philip and Elizabeth married one year before the modern state of Israel was born in 1948. And we still have Elizabeth around to tell us about it. And think of this, Prince Philip's mother, Princess Alice, was named Righteous Among the Gentiles for her selfless work during World War II to hide and save Greek Jews. Philip was but one degree from this help to Jews during the Holocaust. His mother, a princess, exiled though she was, stayed in Greece to live in a convent instead of fleeing to England or Germany to enjoy a more luxurious lifestyle. And all this was but one lifetime ago. Prince Philip was on official business to Israel, representing the crown, to honor his mother when she passed away and she was buried at the Mount of Olives. All this during an atmosphere when he was told not to visit. We still have Holocaust survivors to this day who can testify to the horrors that the centuries of anti-Semitism in Europe had led to. And it led to this in a sophisticated and modern Central Europe where art, education, and innovation at the time was seemingly flourishing. And all within one lifetime, the Holocaust happened and a nation was born. A nation 73 years young, but 3,000 years old, a prophecy fulfilled, all within one lifetime's vantage point. For Holocaust deniers and history revisionists who claims Israel is imperialist or colonial, you need only reread the definitions of each for an accurate account. For those who say Israel violates the human rights of its inhabitants, you need only to go there and check it out for yourself. And then go to its neighbors, Gaza, Jordan, Egypt, and Syria. Take a checklist of human rights protections and living conditions and status reports, and then let's see your comparison. Women, homosexuals, folks not of the dominant religion, folks not of the dominant color. Check out the differences. Let me know who can go to school, to college, and get a job, who can own property. What are the employment conditions and protections like? Let me know who can have a parade and a festival, and then get back to me. All within one lifetime. Shavuot and have a great day.